Welcome back. We now have our teams, Tennessee and Indiana. Couldn't be any better. And we're so excited about the number of alumni that we have that has gone on to play for the Jaguars, but probably the biggest alumni we've had recently that's gone on to play for the Jaguars is Josh. Josh Dobbs from Tennessee. Uh, he was the MVP of the game. Uh, they won handily. Um, good quarterback, and now he's playing for the Jaguars. So we're really excited to have you. Josh, Thank you. Thanks. Appreciate well, it. So, so tell me, what, what do you think about uh, the Gator Bowl? What were your best uh, experiences? Oh, it was a blast. I think, you know, first thing that comes to mind is the weather. You know, you're up in Tennessee, it's like snowing, yeah. and you get a chance to leave home just after Christmas and go spend the New Year nice, warm, sunny shores of Jacksonville. You get a chance to come down here and compete, and then you get a chance to get, compete against a big-time program in the Big Ten. We played Iowa. They always have been a storied program. So to get a chance to compete, it was Tennessee's first time going to a bowl game, I think seven years at the time. So um, a lot of good memories. And then, of course, winning the game and being an MVP, those yeah. are those are all, of course, great memories, but just the whole experience. Well, you know, you stay at the Marriott Sawgrass, mm -hmm. and I understand we had a beach party for you. We did. And y'all had a lot of fun. You were telling me a little bit earlier about the, the thing that you enjoyed the most about it. <laughs> we had the uh, big old bouncy balls, and we were just ramming into each other. <laughs> the funniest thing that happened was our starting center, and our one of our starting receivers at the time, the like center got one, and the receiver got the other. I think the center almost like bumped him into the into the ocean. It was <laughs> it was um, it was an interesting party. Well, now that you live down here, you know we don't get in the ocean this time of year. But those Penn State guys, those Iowa guys, they were they were fine. suits right out in the water. I, see, I can't like no, we we enjoyed it, but we didn't get in the water. Yeah. Now now I think the Northerners they come down here that water. It's yeah. not even it's like a hot tub for them out there. So well, you know we're wearing he heavy overcoats in today, and it's like forty something degrees. I was so. driving home the other day. I saw a lady in my neighborhood who had the overcoat with the fur on, and it was fifty seven <laughs> degrees outside. That was pretty frustrating coming from Pittsburgh. I was like, you don't even know cold. Well, you know, Tennessee Nation is, is probably the biggest uh, school in the Southeastern Conference that travels the best. Um, if you get lucky and get Georgia and Florida and they don't have anywhere to go and it's just <laughs> driving up the street, that's also very good. But Tennessee has yearly 110,000 people in their stadium. What's it like to play in front of 110,000 people? It's unreal. It is. It's unreal. It's um you know, we think of our stadium as the one of the last great coliseums really in the world. You walk into Neyland Stadium, you go straight up. Uh, 102, 455 is what we call them. Just them surrounding you week in and week out, excited yeah. to come to the game, excited to support you. Support you. Um, it's it's the hands down the best fans base in, in the country. They really are, and we're going to have a whole bunch of them coming. We're probably going to have a crowd of over 60,000. We're excited, most of them Tennessee people. Um, you know, one of the things that uh, somebody told me a little earlier that, that I didn't know, uh, you, that year you beat, uh, Tennessee beat both Georgia and Florida that year, so that was pretty cool to, to, to know that. You know, we always kid because Peyton never beat Florida, so. I know, we, we, yeah, that's the you one, made up whenever I see him, you know, that's the one thing I don't bring up, I think. Yeah, he's no, still I wouldn't bring it up either. I play a little golf with him every now and then, but I don't bring it up either. He's still Peyton Manning, but no, yeah. we, had a, we had some good seasons there. So are you happy to be a Jaguar? Yes. Happy to be in the league. Ecstatic. Ecstatic. Yeah. Um, it's been a whirlwind, of course, coming down here this year from Pittsburgh to, to Jacksonville. Um, but to get down here and get a chance to be around the organization, to be here in Jacksonville, around the city, around the fans, it's been a blast. I've enjoyed it, learning every day, and uh, really enjoying my time here. That's super. Guys, you know, it's about heads and beds, fannies and seats, filling up economic development, great television ratings, but it's also about great men like this that have come along and played in our bowl game. We're inviting everybody that made the 75th team. Josh will be our special guest. We've got Coach Dickey coming from, from Coach Fulmer will be here. Uh, we've got a number of great players that will be announced next year, next week uh, that will be our special guest, and we'll get to see all of you all down on the field. Can't Josh, wait. thank you so much. I appreciate it. I'm Merry Christmas again. and have a good one, all right? Merry Christmas. Yes, sir. I'll see you, I'll see you in the new year. Absolutely. There you go. Okay.